Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for August. Oh, we had one that flipped over. Ooh, we gotta take it, obviously. So anyway, this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for August. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you. Uh, rat. So you're dealing, this is what flipped over, just flipped over in the middle of the deck. Rat, someone working against you behind your back. So you're dealing with a rat. Someone is working against you behind your back. Oh, nice. Excuse my appearance, I've not been awake too long. Uh, about an hour. Ladder. Climbing towards success. So you are climbing towards success. <clears throat> One more. Oh, there we go. Mountain road. <laughs> You're on the road to success. So you are on the road to success, but there is someone that is working behind your back. Okay, they're working against you behind your back. So I think that you need to be very, very careful. Okay, you're climbing the ladder, you're on the road to success, but you got a rat, okay? You got a rat in your vicinity. So but you might need to get out your little rat trap or whatever. Mm -hmm. Just a plain nuisance, right? I mean, you got a nuisance here. Perhaps it's it's time for you to get rid of that rat. This person, rats are pests. You maybe you may have a pest here. This is like a, a a pesty problem that you need to deal with. You may need to call an exterminator. Um, interesting. This is infatuation and obsession. So you're, there's some sort of infatuation here and, and, and obsession. <clears throat> Somebody has serious regrets for hurting you. You got somebody here that does not want commitment. Could be you. Could be the person that you have been focusing on. They really don't want commitment. I feel like you need to be careful. You need to be very, very, very careful with somebody that you're dealing with. This is only lust. So I'm not sure what is going on. I feel like... You got somebody here that does not want commitment. They do have regrets for hurting you. I'm not sure if you are infatuated with this person. Could go vice versa. Somebody could, this could be, you know, somebody that's infatuated with you. You don't want a commitment with them. And you, you, you are not happy that you're hurting them. Whatever is happening could go vice versa. There is somebody here that is climbing the ladder to success. There is somebody that is working against you and you need to be very careful, okay? Either way, however it res however it is, whether you're this person or that person, you know, there's lust, there's infatuation, and there's obsession, and there's one person that really does not want a commitment, okay? You don't know your value. You don't know your value. So I feel like you really need to uh, re-identify. You need to re-identify your worth, your value, who you are, um, where, you're, where you're going, uh, who you want to be with, you know, what you're worth. What are you worth? What are you worth? You don't know your value by the looks of things. Let's get let's uh, get one of these. I think you're dealing with somebody that. Well, if you think about a rat, rats are diseased. <laughs> you know, typically, I mean, they are. You don't want them around. You don't want a rat around. You don't. You, do you want a rat getting in bed with you?
Be proud. It's time to celebrate all that you've achieved, all that you are, and all that you will become. Every once in a while, it's important to stop and acknowledge what you have achieved and be proud. So you need to be proud of yourself. You need to, you need to uh, realize all that you have achieved. Where have you come? How far you have come? This is all, I see a lot of green here. So this is like the heart chakra, I believe it is. Self-love. You need to focus on self-love. Love yourself. If you're dealing with somebody that, you know, is a rat, then you're, you, you need to remove yourself or remove that individual from your existence. Okay, you don't need, you know, you picture a rat, okay, picture a rat, this kind of rat, okay, just for a second here, okay, you picture getting in bed with this rat, this is, this is like, oh my god, get out of here, you know, oh, this, this is like, ah, no, no way, okay, do not get in bed with a rat. Somebody that is dirty, a scrounge, or doesn't doesn't care. This is just somebody that goes around from place to place to place to place, looking for whatever they can get. Yuck. Be proud of who you are. Focus on self-love. You're on the road to success. You may have forgotten your value, forgotten your worth. Remember, remember how far you've come. Be proud of how you, who, who you are. You must be infatuated or obsessed with somebody. This person could be, you know, playing on your emotions, but they don't really want a commitment. I'm going to get one of these angel romance cards. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So I don't know what that means. Maybe it's interesting because in this deck I had vacation. Oh, here it is. It's on the bottom. Vacation. And I didn't say it. So maybe you need to take a vacation. Maybe you take a vacation with yourself. Because I feel like self. Maybe you need to go someplace by yourself to think about your own value. Think about your worth. Think about who you are. You know, maybe you need to focus. Maybe you've been focusing on your job a lot. Maybe you need to take a vacation to uh, regroup. This does say enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Maybe, maybe if you're married, if you're married, maybe you you take a vacation with your partner. Maybe you need a time out. All right, what do we have for Gemini? Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Hmm. Maybe you go with a child somewhere. You and your child, I don't know. They have serious, somebody has serious regrets for hurting you. You could also be dealing with somebody that hurt you in the past that didn't want commitment. But you don't know your value. You need you self love is needed. We'll take a look at that. In the upright, the Empress. Now this is the birth of a new life, right? It is. It's 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 a rebirth. It is uh, an abundance of love. So this is creating a new life. This is a, this is the queen of value. Okay, she's the queen of all queens, but she knows her value, self worth, self love. Um, glowing. We have somebody here that is absolutely glowing. They are in the process of creating a new life. It's beautiful. Okay, the Empress is, is absolutely beautiful. So we have a beautiful feminine energy here. It is, it is creating. It's creating. It is uh, flowing. It is the, it's a new beginning. Okay, the Empress is a new beginning. It's a rebirth of some sort. 
Next card out is the Four of Pentacles. So that is holding on, holding on to your value, stability, focusing on your on your stability. You may need to love, I feel like love yourself is very big here. Um, hold on, hold on to uh, your value, hold on to your stability, focus on yourself. That's a really, really, really strong message. Um, Empress is love. It's like a mother's love. Love yourself like you would love your child. Ace of Swords reversed. Ace of Swords reversed is no communication. You may you may have to cut communication with somebody. You may have to sever ties with somebody. There's obviously somebody here that is being dishonest. They're not telling you the truth. You may have been seeing things unclearly. There's a lack of clarity here. I feel like you may have to uh, stop communicating with somebody out of self-love. Four of Pentacles, that is hold on to your value, hold on to your stability. You're beautiful. There's some sort of beauty here. There is with the Empress. The Empress is beautiful. It, it's love, okay? I feel like you're you're going through a period or you have been going through a painful period. And I think it's time for you to, um, I don't know, maybe you need to take a break. We had vacation, right? You need to take a break. You need to focus on yourself. You're on the road to success. You're climbing the ladder. There's somebody here that is not, I don't know what they're doing. They're not communicating with you or they're not being honest with you. You know, now we have the Ace of Cups. So the Ace of Cups is love. There's This is a new start in love. The Empress is a new start in love as well. So you got you got some sort of love here. You do. Um, it is overflowing emotion, a flood of emotion. There's there's some sort of, somebody's not telling the truth. They aren't telling the truth with the Ace of Swords reversed. They may be holding on to something for stability reasons. You're obviously in a very good place because you're taking on that Empress energy where this is like an abundance of love, right? It is. It's like, it's flowing. It's free-flowing love. We definitely have love here. Creating. Creating a new life. This is the birth of a new life. Hold on. Hold on, okay? Hold on, because you are about to receive some sort of blessing. Because the Empress gives birth to a blessing. And it's interesting because I, ha I had on a shirt that said blessing across right here. And last night I was going to do your reading, but I was so tired that I couldn't do it. And I was going to wear that blessing shirt. So I got up this morning and I put on that blessing shirt. And uh, it's camouflage. And I just was like, no, nah, I, can't, I can't wear that. But I was like, but anyway, to get back to what I was... Uh, Blessing is for Gemini. It's like I gotta wear the blessing shirt for Gemini. And then this morning when I got up, I got I got up and I said I gotta go put I gotta go put that blessing shirt on. And I put it on and just didn't didn't fit. I was like, oh, no, I can't be camouflage because well maybe it's supposed to be camouflage. I don't know. But anyway, I uh, I said no, I don't want to wear the camouflage. I'm gonna take it off. But it said blessing right across here. So anyway, blessing, and you are going to be receiving a blessing, the Ace of Cups and the Empress card. So this is a blessing. It could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra, or this could be your energy where you are about to receive a blessing of some sort. Um, whatever this blessing is, I feel like you need to hold on, hold on, because you're, you may not be aware with the Ace of Swords reversed that this is a blessing. Maybe, maybe, maybe somebody has hurt you and it's a blessing in disguise. Whatever is happening, you are about to receive a blessing, okay? This is going to make you very happy, okay? Hold on, okay? Just hold on for a second. You are unaware that there is some sort of love here. And it could definitely be self-love, even with the Ace of Cups. But I do feel like um, if you know your value, because the Empress is the, is the ultimate value, okay? She is. So there's. if you know your value and your worth, everybody else is going to see it as well. That's what you radiate. So anyhow, I do believe that you are about to receive an a blessing, a blessing of love, whatever it is, an abundance of love with the Empress and the Ace of Cups. And I, and and with the Ace of Swords reversed, be, be behind that Ace of Cups, that's a lack of awareness. You're unaware. You're unaware. You're unaware that there's a there's an abundance of love here. Maybe maybe it hasn't come yet. Um, 
But you need to hold on because it's, it's, I think it's right here. Oh, six of swords moving, moving on from something. If you, and it, it's great that it's, that it's upright. So I feel like you're getting, going to a better place. Um, you're unaware that somebody is headed towards you or you're moving, either you're moving, somebody is moving, they're moving forward, they're, they're moving. There could be an arrival, there could be a departure, somebody is moving, they are moving towards uh, love. Six of Swords headed towards the Ace of Cups, they're moving towards happiness, leaving behind some sort of struggle you know, leaving the trouble behind, leaving leaving the rough waters behind. Somebody is, is traveling in a new direction. They are traveling towards, obviously it's bliss. Some of you may definitely be uh, going on a vacation with somebody. There could also be somebody, if you're single, uh, somebody could be headed in your direction. They're, they're, maybe they're moving or something like that. Strength card reversed. Strength card reversed is feeling vulnerable, lack of uh, courage, held back by fear. Weak. Sun reversed, unhappy. We have some poor health here. We have somebody here who that has been depleted. They've been in a dark place. They've been struggling probably with depression. There's somebody here that may be depressed. They maybe have some poor health, you know. There could also be poor logic due to disillusionment. There's some sort of sadness here. There's some sort of, there could be some sort of, uh, Fear as well with the strength card reverse, lack of self-esteem, low low energy, low vibration. I mean the strength reverse next to the sun reverse. We could also, I don't know if some of you are dealing with a Leo. There's definitely a lack of happiness, could be inner happiness. There, there could be a lack of inner strength. You may you may be feeling vulnerable. You may be uh, feeling like you can't trust somebody. Maybe you were with a rat in the past. I feel like there's some sort of uh, healing that is needed. Strength reversed, sun reversed, underneath the Ace of Cups. You may need to remove yourself from a situation that has really depleted you, that has really uh, drained you. There's been a lot of waves, there's been a lot of struggle, there's been a lot of... Uh, no communication or miscommunication or dishonesty. You may need to take time to heal and love yourself. Focus on your, your self-love. You know, mother yourself. Be your, be your own mother. And I know that's like healing your inner child. You don't know if, if that's what needs to happen. But anyhow, I feel like the, the, that you need to hold on to your value. You need to focus on your, your self-love, you need to leave whatever it is behind, maybe you need to move, somebody may need to move with a six of swords, it is moving on from a situation where there's too much uncertainty and too much struggle and too much, uh, strife, okay, there's, there's too much strife, there's, there's too much, if you think about what comes before the Six of Swords is the Five of Swords. There's hostilities, there's betrayal, there's wanting to win, wanting to fight. It's like, I don't want to, I don't want, and wanting to, having to prove yourself. You shouldn't have to prove yourself. I feel like you need to move on. It's time for you to, uh, I don't know, I feel like you need to take care of yourself. I feel like you've been in a situation where there's been a lot of control. I think you may have been dealing with somebody that doesn't respect you, that doesn't respect others. You know, that this person may be dark, they may not be high vibrational. 
you know, and you, maybe your intuition is telling you that you, you know, need to move on and you have been not listening, not listening to it. Anyhow, I feel like this is going to be a, a, a time of, of, of birth, okay? It's, it's time. It's time for you to uh, receive some sort of blessing with that Empress card. Maybe it's, maybe it's you uh, moving on is a blessing. Moving on is a blessing. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is options, choices, consequences. Uh, I feel as though you are needing to consider your options. You need to choose wisely. I feel like you've definitely been held back by fear. Maybe this person really belittled you or you were dealing with somebody who made you feel like you weren't good enough, you know? Made you feel like you couldn't do it. They they squashed your self-esteem or something. Anyhow, uh, with that strength card reversed next to the sun reversed. And, and I feel like you have another option. You need to consider your options. You need to explore your options. I think whoever you are dealing with has multiple options as well. So I feel like they have been exploring their options. Maybe they don't respect you. Maybe you've been refusing to see. There's definitely a lack of clarity here with the Ace of Swords reversed and the Sun reversed. That's like unawareness. Maybe you're unaware you're, or you have been unaware. Um, but I do believe that you're going to be moving on from something that it may have been some sort of illusion. It may have been some sort of fantasy for you. You know, maybe you were holding on to it for codependency reasons, you know, because it was something to have or to hold on to. But anyway, I feel like this is a time of rebirth for you. You're going through a time of rebirth. And you're going to be glowing. You are going to be glowing. You're going to be looking really, really, really good, okay? Um, and you do have multiple options here. Multiple Page of Cups reversed. So you, this is like an unrequited love situation, infatuation, obsession. You know, I feel like somebody is about to get their bubble burst, okay? I feel like there's tears. I feel like there could be a rejection here. I feel like there's sadness. There's, there's uh, uh, a need to master your emotions. Your emotions, you could be really in your emotions during this time. Okay, with the Ace of Cups, that's a flood of emotion. The Sun reverse, the Page of Cups reverse, the Strength reverse, that's like, and the Seven of Cups. I feel like you're going to be dealing with some emotions, probably some emotions because you know that you have to move on from somebody. I think that you know that you do. And I feel like it's out of self-love. I feel like I feel like there's some sort of reality check that is coming with the Moon reverse. That is a reality check. It's, it's, it's seeing the truth after being in illusion, okay? This is this is the shadow being removed, okay, seeing it all very clearly. You're going to get some sort of clarity um, that is going to help you. This, this clarity is going to help you. It's going to help you to move on. I feel like there's definitely been some sort of delusion here. Um, you are about to receive some sort of blessing no matter how you look at it because the Empress gives birth to a new life and that new life is a blessing. When she gives birth, and it's a miracle, okay? It is a miracle. So you're about to receive some sort of a blessing. Some of you, it could be a news of a pregnancy, you know, if, you're somebody, if that's what you're looking for. But whatever this is, I feel like you um, are being blessed with a new life. Um, I think that it, I think that uh, you may be unaware that you know moving on brings you this this new whatever it is this new love, but it does. I mean, you may have another option that is coming in because we have the Seven of Cups, the Six of Swords, then the Ace of Cups. So you may have another option that is heading in your direction, and you are completely unaware of it. Okay. You're completely unaware aware of it. Maybe maybe you're in a place where where you're healing from some sort of unrequited love situation. You're not looking for it, and it's just here. 
Um, something is about to be pop pop up, okay, with the moon card reversed. It's been below the surface for a while. Something is, is about to just be revealed. Maybe it's been hidden. This Whatever this reveal, and it could be some sort of deception, okay, some sort of deception may be revealed. This may be what allows you to move on from this. This is, you know. Um, so anyway, I do believe that you... Um, are about to learn a lesson about self-value. I feel like you are um, going to be leaving behind some sort of illusion or fantasy. Um, it's not going to be easy. I feel like you're depleted. I think that you've been depressed. You've been controlled. Um, you've allowed yourself to be in this dark place. Maybe you were infatuated with somebody and you're about to get some sort of wake-up call. Um, You are on the road to success, though. You are. You're going to a better place. Leaving, leaving this illusion, this fantasy, this poor choice behind is going to bring you peace and serenity. And you're going to be radiating love because you remove that negative energy from your existence. So I, I feel like it's going to be tough. I feel like it is going to be tough. I, f I feel like... Uh, you're going to be... Uh, dealing with some sort of move. Moving on. Good luck. <laughs>